Today we unveil one more recipient to join our previous inductees to the Weyburn Walk of Fame. The City of Weyburn has been honored to have past and present residents of our community recognized internationally and nationally. Today we are proud to have the opportunity to honor these achievements. Today is a wonderful celebration for our community and for the Keaton family. On behalf of the City of Weyburn and the City Council, we congratulate Trina on her induction to the Walk of Fame as well as her successful and vibrant career. She began her career as a child actor in Weyburn, taking on any role she could find either in school or local drama productions. Her passion for the craft continued after graduation when she moved to Regina, where she continued to search for new acting opportunities and work in casting. She eventually relocated to Toronto and since 2005 has seen success in gaining roles in television, movies, and theater productions. Best known for her role of Doc Yule in the science fiction series Defiance, she continues to shine in any role she chooses. Well, greetings, Wayburnites and visitors. As many of you know, and as Dick just mentioned, I am not Trina Keating, but her much older and wiser sister. Um, I nominated Trena for this award, and she asked me to do her speech today, as she could not be here. She is filming a TV series in Toronto right now and has a very demanding schedule. So without further ado, this is me being Trena Keating. We'll test out my acting skills. I thought by this age I would have an Oscar or two, but apparently those are harder to get than I anticipated. So today I shall deliver to you what would be my Oscar speech, sort of. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to the Walk of Fame for honoring me in this way. To be recognized by the people of Weyburn, my hometown that I love so dearly, is incredibly special to me. I am deeply sorry I cannot be there today to personally show my appreciation. I am grateful to the Weyburn community for fostering my love of the arts. From drama class to choir to Crocus Eighty Theater, I was always involved in something creative. Not once did any of my mentors make me feel as though being an actor was an impossible dream. I was always encouraged to further my dreams and for that I am grateful. I would like to thank my teachers. Teachers are such an important part of young people's lives today and I truly had great teachers. Guy Shoup, Dave Anra, Judy Bazaweski, Tony Tunbridge, Tammy Ashton, and Tanya Cameron, just to name a few. All of whom have a spe very special place in my heart. Not only were these individuals encouraging, they were most importantly kind. I've chosen what can be a very unkind career. So kindness that they showed me was something that I truly value and I still hold on to to this day. I would also like to say a huge thank you to my parents, Jim and Jan Keating. Raising a dramatic child is not an easy task. I live in extremes and probably cry way more often than normal people, but they have always let me be me. My parents are the strongest people I know and I hope that I grow up to be just like them. I could not have accomplished what I have in life if I had not had family and friends cheering me on. Making it is a day-by-day, second-by-second journey. Broke today, land a TV series tomorrow. Series gets cancelled, can't afford toilet paper. It's a roller coaster with incredible highs and devastating lows. And without my family and friends, I could not have weathered the storms. So thanks, Mom and Dad, for your love your faith, your guidance, and on several occasions, your money. Thank you to my husband, Alden Adair, for loving me and always making me laugh. And of course, my big sister. I know I can't get too gushy because she's reading my speech for you today and that would just be weird. But please know, Tara, you are my light, you are my everything, and I love you. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, City of Weyburn and its beautiful residents and the Weyburn Walk of Fame Committee for honoring me today. My heart is exploding with gratitude. 
And of course, to close my Oscar speech, thank you, God. Yours humbly, Trenna Keating.